go, off you go. Every time you take a step, touch the ball. Good boy, go Adam. Once the players are in position, the coach takes a minimal time to explain and demonstrate the practice before the players start. You could use one group of players to demonstrate by walking through the process for the practice. It is very important to get the practice underway for your players, as it is better and more enjoyable for the players to be doing, rather than standing and listening. Therefore, keep your explanation and demonstration brief, and do not talk over the demonstration. You will notice here that the players are of differing levels, so it is important that they are able to progress at their own rate. It will take a longer time for some players to progress into doing the skill perfectly. Be patient. After they have practiced learning the skill for a period of time, then make a game of it, where a time limit is given and the group with the most passes through the legs is the winner. This can be done in stages where you alternate between practicing the skill and making it a game. A special point to notice is that all players are active. Again, the players are used over multiple grids so they get to practice their skill more frequently for the time allowed during the session. See the coach at one time assist the player who is passing too firm to now pass with the correct weight without stopping the practice. Encourage the players to lock their ankle when passing. This will develop timing and avoid groin injury. Should you have uneven numbers for the different practices, you can innovate, such as one group having four players while the other group have three, as shown during this clip. And here's some Yule Sport coaching tips. And once the players have practiced learning the skill, you can reinforce it with them and make it fun by making a game of it as well. <laughs>